Alright. Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're starting again with the Fire Emblem Let's Play. Hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. We probably won't finish Lin's story on this episode, or in the next episode, it'll probably be the episode afterwards. So, we will get to uh, working on that for sure. We will. We will indeed. So, let's get to working on it. First things first, siblings abroad. Get introduced to some uh, other unique characters here. Please, some ass, some ass, plus not blah blah blah. But sir, why you were so kind yesterday? Blah 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 blah. But but, you what a mess. Hmm. We uh, I'm here ten days ride to Castle Kalen. Blah blah blah. Ten days. I uh, know it's a long time, huh, Lynn? Oh look. Pardon me, but. Yes, can I help you? You and your friends, are you mercenaries? And if we are, I need your help. Lady Lindis, you mustn't let your guard down, not even for a child, blah blah blah. Ninian's been, it's my sister, some men have taken her away, oh no. I don't know what to do without Ninian. Heard her. Cannot stand by and let a child be taken from home. I will follow you, blah blah blah. Ah, uh, such a noble speech, ever the true knight that one. Ah, oh, well, you're in luck, laddie. You're in luck, laddie! We're going to help you get your sister! Alright, so here we go. I like a shaman. First shaman ever that we see. Come on, it's back to Nurgle. No! Get him. Kaboom. No. You do not get this child. This child! Is not yours to nab, so you will not have this child. Do you understand? I hope don't think you understand. All right. Okay, so this is the first time we actually get to pick our units. So let's actually check the map, see what there is. It's a lot of axes and swords and bows. So, oh yeah, you can also buy from the shop now. Alright, so we're going to go back to picking our units. So since there's a lot of swords and axes and bows, Florina is kind of dead weight. Um, but, but, I don't know if I really want to get rid of Florina. There's really no point to having Wrath. I mean, Wrath is already level 7, so he's doing fine. Matthew would be nice to level up, but I don't think we're going to find a uh, an opportunity to do so, so we'll just fight. I see we're facing a Shaman, Nick. I heard that print. Blah, blah. You have to be careful. What? Who? Yes, well, no, I'm only at Alkalite, blah, Lucius. He was unpleasant. I know he was unpleasant. So this guy wants to help the uh, the boy, and he can take care of. This is where you learn the trinity of magic, which applies to this game. Not all games anymore. Um, more more recent games have kind of gotten rid of the trinity of magic. But basically, light magic is strong against dark magic, dark magic is strong against anima, and anima is strong against light. That is how it works out. And the shaman was almost killed. I can help too. Bards are useful to have around. Bards, blah, and there's no place for a, bala a ballad. But this is always a place for a ballad. Ta-da! Bards level up just by playing. We'll press uh, start. Kind of get rid of rid of that. So we can go ahead and attack again. Kill the shaman. Shaman is dead. Pretty sure there's a shaman down here too, though. Yeah, there's like a few shamans lying around, waiting. Um, kind of interested to see. 
I can probably get Urk in range though. Finish off the uh, the Bowman. This is actually like a really risky thing I'm doing. But Urk can get in range, which is the important part, so it's not terribly risky. I'm not risking Florina too much, so there's that. And then Dorcas can come this way. We really don't need to worry about the vendor. Send everyone else. Moving this way. It's actually going to make Nils and Lucius fall behind, but that's fine. Actually, Sarah can heal for experience. And then we'll move Lynn. And, uh, what we're going to try and do, what we're going to try and do is get to uh, this spot right here. So there's that. And if you can hear my dogs, I, I terribly apologize. Yeah, I shut the office door. Kind of blocks out some of the sound that comes from it. Actually, it makes me a little bit louder, too, I guess. We can move our bowman right there. We'll let Urk attack from right... Actually, Urk can attack from the mountains. So we'll let Urk attack from the mountains, and then we will go ahead and uh, move in here. I don't think there's a bowman nearby. Yeah, there's not. Okay. We'll have Kent come in and use an iron sword to kill this bandit, the Black Fane. We got an Iron Lance, which I guess we'll just send to... Oh, we have... We, oh, shoot, that's right. We don't have access to a convoy yet, so we have to drop whatever's extra. Um, well... For Lin's story, an Iron Lance isn't really that big of a deal. We'll move Florina there, because she can be in prime location, to go ahead and, uh... And visit the village next. And now we just move everyone else. So Sarah goes here. Lucius goes here. We play again for Lucius to get Nils experience, even though getting Nils experience really isn't the biggest biggest hoot and holler out of this entire game. In fact I don't really ever use bards or dancers in my playthroughs because they're kind of they're not that useful. I mean, it's nice being able to, uh, move twice, but there's better. It's, it's a, it's a lot nicer to have, uh, extra offense. So we will have Urk deliver the killing blow. Get him experience. We will have Florina visit this. How much do you know about magic? Blah, magical. You can't just support him like a sword axe, not even if you are an armor. Anyone that uses magic or staves, Pegasus this knights too. Hmm. You got others who need to battle magic users. Pure water, just sprinkle a bit on you, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 pure water. It's a useful item when you're facing a lot of magic users. I will have Sane stand here. Stand here, actually. Oh, shoot. I meant to uh, switch his item. Well, I guess I'll have Kent stand here, then. Actually, I'll have Kent just kill the guy. So there's that. He's dead. He's deader than dead. And Kent leveled up, so there's... There's a little bit of a bonus right there. Ah, uh, strength and skill. I'll accept it. I will accept it, indeed. Um, This, uh... So that... Sorry again if you can hear my dogs. I don't know why they're deciding to be hyper right now. Uh, but they are, so there's that. Okay, Nils can go to right there. You will honestly probably never see me actually use Nils in any of the future battles. Just like you will never see me use another unit in the future in any of the battles. Other than the ones that they have to be in. 
So I got one shot. One hit. That's good. Alright, so unfortunately the knights actually have to go this way. You know what, I think I can actually... So close. I wonder if Will can finish him off. Nope. Since Will can't finish him off, we really won't put Will in danger. Uh, we'll put Lynn there with Sarah behind her. We will throw Lucius over this way. We'll move Dorcas right here. We'll have Nils play for Dorcas. This is the other reason I generally don't play, uh, use bards because, well, first of all, they're really weak. And oftentimes they're pretty, they're left alone. Mm, this is risky, but we're going to give it a try. As long as that Anima Mage really doesn't do that much damage, we're fine. Oh, the Anima Mage isn't even going to attack. Yeah, there's the Mercenary. Mercenary is just going to go straight for Lin. And they're going straight for Lynn. That is kind of why I had Sarah behind her, though. We'll heal up Lynn. We could have Lynn attack as well, actually. Oh, Sarah's so close to level up. That'll be like her first level up in this entire story. Um. I guess we'll go with the Slim Lance. I'll get more damage I'll put out of it. We're playing with unfavorable odds right here. Considering that we have a low hit rate on a lot of our units actually. And we got Urk to level up which is eh. Eh. He's not the best mage you come, can come across. And unfortunately not even his magic level up, just HP. Again, I've mentioned it before, but I, I hate when just HP levels up, because then I feel like it's a waste of a turn. Or a waste of a level up. I mean, it's always nice getting tankier, so you can take more hits, but... Yeah. I guess it's better than nothing leveling up in the first place. Um, Dorcas can actually break through, so there we go. The knights have to, like, come this weird way. We've got to defeat Heinz... Heinz Doofenshmirtz? Doofenshmirtz? Is that you? Alright, so now we have a lot of shamans left. So what we can do is we can actually bait him out. Um, Florina definitely needs healed though. We'll put Dorcas there, move Urk, move Sarah there, and then we'll play, have Nils play for her. And we will get Sarah to level up as well from Staves, and uh, we'll heal up Florina, which is really the true the true thing we actually need to be doing. So Sarah levels up, which is nice. Unfortunately, magic didn't get stronger. Magic does apply to staves, by the way. And then we'll send, uh... I bet you, I, was, I knew it. You could use pure water, but they're really not going to do that much damage. So I might as well just attack.
And now we'll have the knights slowly move in. Or right, the cavaliers, sorry. I've been calling them knights this entire time, but that's because they are technically knights of Kaelin, so. That would be the reason I have been calling them knights. Not necessarily, doesn't necessarily mean they're the knight class, because there is a knight class as well. Which we fought, actually, um, in the last episode, I believe. Or one of the recent episodes. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. So Pegasus Knights, doesn't matter what terrain they're on. It, the Them getting hit has the exact same chance, no matter what, so. So be wary of that. If, uh... I don't think this is really going to do anything. Because I don't think it'll put Sarah even close, remotely close to range of healing Florina, but hey. Gotta try at least, right? Yeah, not even remotely close. Good heal someone. Um, Urk. Actually, we probably should have left Urk behind. He's really kind of the dead weight. Slowly move Lynn this way. We'll probably bait out this shaman. Have a hand axe ready. Throw the two cavaliers right here. And this shaman does fall for the bait. Which is good. Missed. Which is even better. Double hit. Which is definitely better. Florian will heal at the fort. And we will have Dorcas move in for the kill. Then I believe we shall have Sarah heal Florina. That's the first thing. So Sarah heals Florina. We'll have Lynn move to here. Shoot. Need uh, Lucius with us, I think. Nils can get to where Lucius is at, so... I don't think I'm going to move Lucius. Necessarily in range. But... I mean, we might as well have him nearby. And that will be the end of a turn. Okay, so Nils can move in range to... So we'll move Lucius all the way over here to attack. Who are you supposed to be? Playing the heroes in some foolish knightly romance? Only rushing to your doom. No, I'm not, Heinz. I am not rushing to my doom, Ketchup. You do not tell me what I am rushing to, Ketchup. Got it, Ketchup. Alright. So I'll have Nails come play for Will. We'll move Will in to do some damage. And we'll have Lynn do the finishing blow, since she's probably the only person from this story that I'll end up using in the long term anyway. Oh no, I missed! Lynn should still probably be able to do the finishing blow, though. Hopefully. Because I put... I just put Will in danger. Castle Gimp makes him way too... evasive, but... You're too late. The girl is already... Oh no, where is the girl? I'm a bit bummed we didn't get more strength, but I'll take the skill. Considering that they're being evasive. Nils, where's your sister? Ninian, Ninian, she's not here, blah. A villager spotted the boy's dear sister. They must have her. Oh, they probably do. Ellie Wood. Ellie Wood is Connor. Ninian, Ninian, she'll be fine. She's just lost consciousness. Who are you? I'm Ellie Wood of Foray. Marquis son, blah blah blah, she looked in need of rescuing once I roll, I'm trying to involve myself, blah blah blah. 
Marquise Kalen. And that's my story, it's not easy, blah, no, I didn't believe you, what? First glance, all I saw was daughter of the planeswoman, blah, 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 blah. Proud people say he tell no lies, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, this actually, uh, it's a bit of a longer episode, actually, strangely enough, or a bit of a longer chapter. Um, I was hoping to knock out at least two. I was hoping to at least knock out two of, uh, Oh my, you're a dancer. Anyway, I was hoping to knock out two episodes, but or two chapters, but I yeah, that's not gonna happen because this took a while, and there's a lot of cutscenes, a lot of cutscenes. I could skip them, but but that would uh, not be fun. Not be fun. It would not be befitting of a Let's player to skip cutscenes, or would it? I don't know. I really don't know. But oh my gosh. Okay, I I'm really tempted to skip this. Never mind, I know what your answer is. Blah. So anyway, they uh, travel with us. Ninian does nothing. Oh, what's wrong, Ninian? I lost my ring. No! Not in his disgrace. The very one they sold the curse was a valuable. It was a keepsake from our departed mother. And now we have lost it to those villains. You're right. Can I talk to you, Nick? You heard all that. What do you think? I'd really love to retrieve Ninian's ring for her. But if Nils is right, those things might prove too strong for us. We should. What should we do? When you fulfill certain conditions, side quests, blah. Side quests are very difficult, and once you begin one, you must see it through to the end. If you plan to challenge a side quest, I suggest you keep the save data from the previous mission. Not accepting side quests will not affect your ranking. If you're in a hurry to pursue the main story, skip the side quest. Embark on side quests. We're going to say yes. We're going to embark on this side quest. I was hoping you'd say that. So, we... Do our side quest, and that side quest will probably honestly take us a whole episode in, in itself. So we're going to go ahead and call it good here. hope you guys enjoyed this, this one chapter. I was hoping to get two knocked out, but oh well. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Keep tuning in for more Fire Emblem, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.